This is my second video about using the PSOC uh, development kit. I've wired an analog pot into a, an analog input, into a pin, and I'm going to control the speed of the flashing LED using the pot. And this time I'm going to create a project from scratch. So, new project and empty PSOC 4 design. So down the bottom you set the name Analog LED, set the location, my documents, PSOC. Um, uh, also, you got a set of, make sure you got the right board type selected. And also change the application type to bootable. Because <laughs> we're using the nice cheap $4 version of the PSOC kit. Um, Get rid of advanced so that you can close the, uh, yeah, make sure you got the right board. Get rid of advanced so you can close the window with OK. And you're good to go. There's your blank project. So I guess the first thing we'll do is we'll grab our analog to digital converter. Now it's a multi-channel converter. By default you can see there's four channels, all differential inputs to, uh, as the default. So I'm going to change that to a single channel, single ended. And I'm going to change the name to ADC because it has this uh, great big long name I don't want to have to reference all the time. Change it down to one channel. Can't go bit lower than one channel. And there's the channels at the bottom and I'm going to change the channel to zero to be single ended. And the only other thing I have to change is in general, um, I change the uh, the VSS is the is the refer is the you know the ground voltage, but you have to change the uh, the VREF. I changed it to VDD, and everything else I leave the same. It's a signed value that comes in, um, it gives you a value from uh, you know roughly zero to twenty forty eight. Um, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, is add the analog input pin. So pins analog and I'll wire that. I'll have to change the name. First you got to open it up. Make sure you've got it's analog and I'm going to change the name to I don't know pot or something like that. Yeah, from the potentiometer and then wire it to the analog input okay that's done now I need to I need a digital output pin for my LED and I'll name it LED the other thing you gotta do with that as you see in the Cypress videos you need to just uncheck the hardware connection because uh, it's going to be driven from software And it's called LED. I changed it to LED. Okay. Well, let's try building it. The build will fail because I need to add the bootable bootloader uh, object um, because I specified the project to be a bootloadable project type. So, go to system and add the correct module bootloadable there it is and the thing you have to configure in that is you have to point it at the hex file the actual executable file for the project so in that you gotta go find the project it's under PSOC and it's called analog LED I think I called it and not the bootloader one but yes the bootloader one <laughs> okay I gotta fix that narration <laughs> okay, now that I fixed that, it'll successfully build. Hopefully. It's building. There we go. Looking good. 
There's my uh, APIs on the left. One thing I forgot, oh, there we go. Build succeeded. Now let's go write the code. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do the overhead that I need to do for the A to D controller, analog to digital converter. I mean, and uh, first thing you got to do is you have to start the overall subsystem, then you have to start the conversion. And I'm going to let mine run in free running mode as opposed to start, wait till it's done and get result. Um, I'm just going to free run it asynchronously. So there you go, start and start convert. That's what you got to put in your initialization. <clears throat> and then in your loop, down below, we'll just simply get the value. So here's where we'll get the value. Oh, oh right, we're going to need a variable to hold the uh, converted value because I want to limit check it and uh, limit it to uh, the valid range of 1 to 2047 roughly. I don't want it to go as low as 0 because I'm going to use it for a time delay value. Okay, so let's get it. ADC, yeah, get result 16. You have to specify the channel as an as a parameter, as an argument. And then we will uh What are we gonna do next? Oh I think we're gonna toggle the LED next, yeah. So we're going to get the current value and set the value to be the inverse of that. So we're going to write the inverse of the read. So that essentially toggles the LED. And now we have to delay based on the analog value. So it's CY delay and you specify milliseconds. So the analog value will be, uh, you know, 1 to 2047 milliseconds. So that's, you know, roughly a, a 1 to a 2 second delay. Uh, not a 1 second delay. 1 millisecond to 2 second delay. So, yeah. Okay, here's where I'm going to uh, limit check the analog value. Limit it to uh, 1 to 2047. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> okay, and the last thing we got to do is map our pins. So the two pins I'm using are uh, pin 0 0.7 for the pot and 0 0.6 for the egg. Yeah, 1.6 for the LED. 0 0.7 for the pot, 1.6 for the LED. So you drag it to the appropriate pin. And build. And... We're ready to... Well, not quite yet. Let it finish, Mark. <laughs> Ready to download.
as you know you got to get the board ready to download so you got to unplug and uh, oh first thing I'm going to select the file so this is where you got to go into your project and pick the analog LED this is my project file so it's there it is and that's the file I want to download and now I got to get the board ready so I got to unplug the board hold down the button and plug it back in and select the COM port and we're ready to download go for it and then test it turn the pot see if the LED flashes uh oh doesn't work hmm there is a problem somewhere okay let's troubleshoot it this is a typical situation I you know the input that I used was the push button input um, and that's not what I wired the pot to so instead of 0 0.7 it should be 0 0.6 for the uh, the pot so I had the wrong pin well let's build it again it's nice and quick uh, when you just rewrote your pins because it doesn't have to build your code again and such um, Okay, build succeeded. Let's try it again. So we'll download the file. Oh, and we test it. Hmm, still doesn't work. Well, let's check it out and see what's wrong. I had the wrong file selected in download. For some reason it went back to the original uh, project I did yesterday on the um, the example. So anyway, let's select the right file this time. And get the board ready to download. and fire away let's hope we get it right this time mm, yeah it works the only thing is is the the speed is wrong it's you know one millisecond delay at the one end of the pot is just too fast and the uh, two second delay per flash is too too slow so I'm going to uh, limit, I'm going to scale my analog input. A little more difficult than Arduino. <laughs> Arduino gives you the map function, I think it's called. But anyway, so I'll do a little y equals mx plus b, um, and I will just take the analog value, divide it by 2. I don't need to go all the way to 2,000. This will take me to 1,000. And then add a 100 uh, millisecond uh, lower limit. So. Divide by 2 and add 100. And that'll give me a better range for my analog. That build fast. Now download it. Got the right file this time. Downloading, and this time it works much better. There we go. So that's the minimum rate and the maximum rate. Much more reasonable speeds. So there you go. $4 microcontroller based flashing LED.